Hey guys, uh, this is EBS again, uh, EBS 512 from XGI Developers. Uh, this tutorial I'm gonna go over, uh, how to edit XML images. Um, I know previously in the last tutorial video I did, I briefly went into, um, XML generating, uh, with the jar file, um, I'm gonna do that again this time, but I'm gonna go a little more in depth. Uh, so if you guys have errors or something, uh, this might be why. Um, but basically, I'm just gonna be using XML generator right now to do these images right here and make an XML form. So in Java minus. Minus jar XML generator dot jar. The folder name is XML tut. That's where the uh, images are. I'll name the XML the same thing. Okay, and uh, basically the images that I took uh, were the battery icon images as well as like the netmap icons which are basically the application icons and uh so basically for this and there there were uh how do i word this uh there were multiple reasons that i chose to do these two sets of specific files uh one is when you generate when you use this XML generator on the battery icons, you um, it's supposed to be numbered all throughout uh, in chronological order. But see, like right here, it goes like 16, 17, 18, and then blank. And then the same thing over here, 16, 17, 18, and blank. For all of these, um, for some reason, it skips all the nine the number 9 in the XML generator, so you have to go back in and manually add all these, like 19 here, uh, 19 here, and like 29 here, and then uh, 29 over here. And I don't know if the, uh, the maker of this tool uh, is aware of this issue, um, this is the only XML generator that I've found that's been uh, working pretty properly for me just by using it in the command prompt, so uh, I'm not really sure on that, but this, I, it, it's kind of a pain to do, but you know, I mean, you do it and you get it done, everything's fine after that, but uh, also, uh, the, the other main reason that I chose the icon images from the MintMap folder is because basically by default it shows like for instance this desk clock IC launcher alarm clock it's it's one of the app icons that shows up on the home screen so basically this is wrong right here when it generates it it generates it to the drawable folder and that's 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 not right at all so that needs to be changed to mitmap as well as over here to mitmap and all the other ones also like all these right here need to be changed right there and then right there also um another issue with this xml generator is this right here you don't want that right there. Uh, that's fine on the right side, but on the left side, you just want it like that. So you'll have to go through and edit all these like this. But really, I found an easier way to do this. If you don't want to, this won't work on the numbers or anything or the mint map. You'll have to do all those manually, uh, or at least I haven't found a way yet. But uh, an easy way to fix this right here. Uh, let me undo that. I accidentally press that, but uh, basically, right here, you select this, and you go to search, replace, and 
see basically you just want to cut that com right out so it's just drawable and replace them all and it goes through and does that for all those and then um, that's only for one specific app that that does that for so you'll have to go through and make sure like this uh, the trebuchet right here you'll have to do that too so it's only this right here or like that and uh, that's pretty um, self-explanatory after that um, that just kind of gives you guys a broad gist of how to edit something like that if you if you need to um, also I wanted to show you uh, basically what I was talking about in the last tutorial that I made uh, I didn't actually get a chance to show you guys so here I'm just gonna show you guys this real quick so basically you say you have a in the XML folder Like, well, I'll just use my theme template because it already has some pre-linked XMLs in it, so it makes it a little bit easier. So, uh, basically, you can do something like this: uh, copy one of the ones that are already there, make it a copy, name this whatever the app name is, and. Uh, so like, well this is just going to be an example because I don't want to override anything in this template. Not that it matters or anything because I can always unzip the template, but I just, I have it unzipped right now and I really don't want to mess it up. Uh, so I'm just going to make this up like mid map Android and inside here is going to be like these from the previous one. So, you take this and take these from the XML generated one, and you copy and paste that. Leave the resources directions on the bottom, and leave it on the top also, and don't touch this right here. And uh, you're going to want to indent this. So, and I learned this from uh, the One Dynasty. Uh, that was pretty cool of him to teach me this. Uh, but go to edit indent, increase line indent, and save it. And that's a good XML. Or I mean, it would be if if you had like the proper application name right here. And that's another thing that I want to teach you guys in this is uh, how to find the uh, the application name so you can uh, rename all the files properly uh, so it'll it'll find those and uh, also for the XML so basically like you have calendar right here and you open up the Android manifest and the package name is right here uh, com.android.calendar so basically like if you were doing a calendar and you don't have an XML for it uh, You go into the XML, and well, this would be the proper name for it. So it'd be like Com Android Calendar, but it's not gonna let me overwrite. Well, I mean, I could overwrite it if I wanted to, but since there's one already there, I'm not I'm not gonna overdo it because that's this is just a, a visual uh, aid for you guys, I guess. So, I guess, uh, really, um, some other XMLs and stuff, like, for these, like, these have already been, uh, pre-named, so really, the name of this image would be, like, IC underscore placeholder, but all these images I batch renamed to com underscore big underscore walls because that's the name of the application or that's the name of the package name and you're going to want to do that uh, it just helps to sort things easier and uh, 
that's that's been the way that I've been seeing a lot of themers do this um, in my history of theming since last year. Uh, I haven't been doing this too long, but not as long as some of the other upper high end themers. But uh, I I do know um, that that is a good way to do it, um, keeping everything organized and everything. Oh, well, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Please subscribe, and uh, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them. Thanks.